Hello my lovely flowers, it's me Nia with Exquisite Floral Design and Events and today I am going to be making a casket stand, no, a <laughs> funeral stand, I can't remember today, but I put it in here. Anyway, so we're going to be making it. So, um, with it being hand tied, it's not going to really be hand tied because it's it was it's pretty big and trying to hold it, it would never work out. So we are going to use a trick. We are going to use a floral cage, um, and this is oh this is an easel. This is an easel container. So these are normally used on the easel when you make the sprays and you put it right here and everything. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here and have everything come up so it'll be really nice and big and a focal point of everything. So first we're going to do this and let me go get the uh, the uh, floor foam box and we're going to put it in here, okay? And let's see. Yep, so this is a 9 inch easel container, okay? So, we got that funeral foam in here and we are going to now put it, you know what? I'm thinking by the time I get everything in here, it is going to be extremely heavy. Wow. Let's see if I put it. Okay, so I hope you guys can see. I'm just going to take this four and a half inch water tape and um, uh, waterproof tape, sorry. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to um, loop it around here. We're gonna work this out. I'm creating stuff. I just always be creating something that I think it should go. So I use a program, program called Floral Next. And the program, it, um, hold on one second. Okay, so I use a program called Floral Next, and normally they give you the recipe for stuff, but they did not give me the recipe for this. So I'm going to show you guys a picture of what this is supposed to look like right here. And as you can see, it is, it's very pretty. It's just, I'm just got to figure out how to do it. So it's going to come out. That's one thing about me. I will figure out something. So anyway, we got the tape open. I'm going to put this here. I don't want it to be too top heavy, but I do need some of the, um, I do need some of the, as you can see in the picture, I do need some of the stems to come out at the bottom. And I'm gonna put a big bow right here of what I don't use. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. Hope you guys can see me. And we are just going to Take this on here. I'm take it there. I'm gonna go all the way around. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, so we got that on there, and then I'm going to do one around here just in case. Make sure it's on there. I'm just going to do one right here, going around. All right, so we got it secured. I think it's, it should be secured. We got it secured too. Okay. Now, 
My trash can is 50 miles over. I'm gonna bring it right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to work with the purple gladiolus so that we can put the height and kind of go its curve. So what I'm gonna do is we are gonna work with, let's see. I'm gonna take all that off. And so we are going, I'm gonna kind of cut this a little bit at an angle because it is very, very thick. And we are just going to put it in there. Ah, that's gonna be gorgeous. Then we're gonna put another one about right there. Let's kind of cut it at an angle. Put another one about right here at a lower angle. And then we are going to get a, another one and kind of cut it at an angle. And we're going to put it right here. It's going to go a little bit lower. These are so thick. Perfect. So we got the first part of our fan. I think I broke this one. So let me put kind of down this way. Ooh, look, he has a moldy one. We're gonna take him out. And I'm gonna step on this side and I'm going to put this one right there. This about that size. Put this one there. Beautiful. We have it all. So that's the making of that. Now what we're gonna do is a little bit lower. We're gonna put in this into the to the um, what would you call it? I guess you would say more of the space right here. So we'll put this right here. Cut it a little bit. Put that right there. And I want one about right here. You know what? I got that a little bit too low. So I'm going to put it right here. Put him right there. Again, we want it about right there, so we'll cut it at an angle right here. And right there. And the very last one. Put right here. right there perfect and then since I have this I think I'm going to put him about right right there so I'm going to put this to the side because I'm going to need the shoots for what's coming at the bottom I was trying to figure out something. Okay, so that's where that goes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with this blue delphinium and we are going to stick this in. Ugh, I hate this blue delphinium because it's always, it's just always. Um, so I'm just gonna come in into some of the hollow spots and just stick it in there. Like this one, I'm gonna come to the side. This one, we're gonna 
bring it just down a little bit in here. And so see, it's, ah, it wasn't a good, um, all my petals are in my bag, in the bag. Let's see. That right there. And now what we're going to do is, I love delphinium. I love this little sprinkly stuff. We're just going to stick it all around to kind of make it pretty. Even though roses are going to go in right here, I'm going to put it all around. Awesome. So we use all that. And as you guys can see, all my colors are right here. Now we're going to use some light blue delphinia. Being very gentle. And I'm going to stick him. He was a little. I think I'm going to remove him and put him right here and kind of cut this one and kind of bring him in a little bit low. Ooh. Bring him in a little bit lower. I want it to be seen. I love my stuff to be seen. Okay. So let's go with him right here. He's he got a lot of green, so I'm going to kind of take some of that off. Right here. And I think I'm going to stick him right here. Yeah. Gorgeous. And now we're just going to go in and just fill in spots that we see that are that we feel like are hollow that needs a little color to it and then I'm going to start working right in here I do want to cover this up because it does have roses and stuff but um you know it it it's probably needs a little bit more because I want to make a big bow and put the bow on there longer because I don't like this hollow right there but we're gonna go with it. We are going to go with it. So just it's kind of dead. Very thick. You need it to be back here somewhere. I think I'm going to put them, like I said, back here. I'm going to go in through the back because I don't have enough room. And just stick them in there. Yeah, you got that. So I'm going to keep some. 
some of this little stuff. And I'm gonna come in here with these lavender roses. So she wanted more blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these up. I'm gonna bloom them and I'm gonna spritz them just a little bit with some of this uh, Design Master Blue Bright um, uh, Floral Spray. Uh, I'm not a big fan of floral sprays, but they're like, I didn't want to buy blue flowers. Let me tell you guys, last week, I bought blue flowers, right? They come in a bunch of 40. I mean, come in a bunch of 25. Got ready to do um, the queen uh, casket, I mean, not casket, a spray, a funeral spray. And guess what? It was only 12 in there. That woman... Okay, so how I was so rudely interrupted when I had to go and <laughs> change my um, battery. Anyway, so all I was saying about the blue flowers, she got me. Um, I ended up spending $80 for 40 when it's never that much. I'll never go back to her. So anyway, let's get to cutting these. This is all I'm gonna do is we are going and hopefully it'll, these are, I just bought them. They are nice and very, very, very fresh. So I'm gonna let that go out. Right? Yeah, right there. And so all we're going to do is basically stick in these roses. Hopefully by, see, look, when they bloom, yes, I want to bloom a little. Um, I'm going to put them in here. Come in at this angle. There is a gigantic fly in here. Okay, so I kind of got that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and we're just going to put them at the bottom. Because we want it to resemble a hand tied. So we're going to take the, yeah, we're just going to stick these at the bottom.
Okay. Now, I think I'm going to take a few of these. I'm hoping these roses will bloom. They need to bloom, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna take this blue and we're just gonna dry a little bit. Okay. So, I feel like it's missing something. Once I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. But I'm going to fast forward through this. So that I can do the I have to now make the bow so I'll come back to you when I got the bow done okay so I made the bow in the front I still feel like something is missing so I'm going to run it looks pretty right here but I want it fuller up here so what I always do when I shouldn't do is gonna go get some more flowers tomorrow but um, I'm gonna get a few to kind of uh, go in there some hopefully I can find something blue I need it just long we'll see all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification to let you know when I upload videos I always do DIY vlogs which you see behind the scenes of um, a day in the life of florist which is crazy and um i also do sometimes i do some reviews of different things so i'll see you next time my lovely flowers enjoy your day